Welcome back to another edition of Driving Basics. Although, well, I didn't want to create another series. This isn't basic. The view you're seeing is beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia, the Northwest Arm, and the Rotary. There are other rotary and traffic circle intersections in Nova Scotia, but there is only one, the Rotary, and you're looking at it because it is a five-way rotary interchange that is one of the most important ways people get in and out of the city during rush hours. So everybody has to take it one time or another. Some people have to take it twice a day or more, and it's busy. This is not a rush hour view of the rotary, but you can still see there are a number of public transit and uh, regular cars, work trucks. Uh, I'm seeing a couple of dump trucks, a big box truck and a bus just looking at the video right now. So you might be wondering why this video is different. And because you can only show one interaction when you drive through an interchange with my 360 camera, I can only show you my left and right view and whether I think I can make a decision to proceed at that instance. But with this overhead view, and you'll see in just a moment, we're gonna to transition to a straight down overhead view. You'll be able to look at an individual car and see what the traffic is leading up to its spot. So if you look in the bottom left, you can see where Quinpool Drive enters the traffic circle. You can see there's a number of cars coming to rest. And we're looking at the bottom left now. Each of those cars has an opportunity to proceed forward. And you can look and see what they see coming from the top down, in this case, into their lane of travel. And then when they decide that it is safe to go ahead and proceed. So as you watch this video, and it's a good five minutes of just top down view, I won't talk all the way through it. I want you, if you're trying to learn how to drive one of these rotary traffic circles effectively, look at a car that is stopped. Now we're looking at the right hand side. There's two cars lined up there. Imagine that you're that car and look at the traffic flow and see now there might be an opening, but he didn't take it. And again, once the red car passes, now he's got it opening and goes. So just pick a car that is stopped waiting to enter the circle and you can follow what their oncoming traffic choices and options look like in terms of entering the traffic circle. You can see now the upper left has a stack of four or five, two of which we're just able to proceed. I kind of find this view hypnotic, honestly, I should stop talking. But I'm still here. If you find this video helpful, think about clicking the thumbs up button and maybe even subscribing. I post driving basics tutorial videos as well as road trip Nova Scotia guides. So if you enjoy either of those kinds of content, you're in the right place. Make sure the little bell is clicked so that you will get notifications when new stuff comes or gets posted. There's no great story or surprise finish to this video. Uh, surprise, surprise, not. Um, what I mean is watch it as long as you feel that you need to. Um, and come back if you need a refresher. It'll be here for you. Uh, I'm going to cue the music and let it play out to the end. Uh, watch as much as you like. Again, pick the car that you want to follow and see what its choices and its view would be. And follow um, the lane selection as well because this is quite a complex interchange. Like I said, it doesn't quite belong on the driving basics.
channel um, or playlist, but I wasn't going to create another playlist just for this. So for now, it will be a driving basic. I hope it helps. Cheers. <laughs>